This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com slash AJ for your free trial membership. Welcome to App Judgment. I'm Eileen, and Graham, you're back with me today. Hey, guys. We're going to do a follow-up on iOS 4, but before that, I want to answer a couple of viewer emails, and we have some hot news. Uh, first, I wanted to just go ahead and explain this stand. A lot of people have been emailing me and asking me, where did I get this? Well, uh, actually, it was sent to our CEO, Jim Lauterbach, who gave it to me. Thanks again, Jim. And I've been using it as sort of a stand to put our phones and the iPad. I have to note that this is a iPhone stand and that the company does make an iPad stand as well. It's from Total Desktop Solutions, totaldesktopsolutions.com, and it's around 30 bucks. I really like it. I see myself putting it in the kitchen or it's at my desk all the time and obviously I use it for the show so that's where you can get it. We use it Mysteries. quite a bit actually. Yeah we do <laughs> it, and it does you know when we put the iPad on it it wobbles so uh, again there is an iPad stand that I believe is sturdier for the uh, for the right. iPad but this is what we have in house so mystery solved. Cool. All right let's go into the news the big news uh, is that the Motorola Droid X has just been announced curiously a day before the iPhone 4 launch. There, and if you're watching this on Thursday, we're probably actually in line getting our iPhones. Right, a lot <laughs> of you are probably watching this either the day of the iPhone 4 launch mm -hmm. or you already have your iPhone 4s yeah. by this time. Some people are getting their shipped early like my sister, lucky her. Uh, but Motorola is uh, upping the ante and says that the Droid X is going to be available on July 15th for Two hundred dollars, one ninety nine, two year contract. Uh, some of the specs, and if you go on DroidDoes.com, you'll find all of the specs there for this new phone. Uh, it's got a uh, eight megapixel camera, says seven twenty p HD video, uh, HDMI output. Uh, let's see. Curiously, they're going to have Flash 10.1 available late in the summer. Late, late in summer. The summer. I don't know what that means. They're going to have Froyo. Uh, but I think one of the biggest things is that they're going to offer Wi-Fi hotspot capability, which allows users to connect up to five additional Wi-Fi devices to the Verizon 3G network. So it's kind of almost like the Evo. They're, they're um, basically taking a lot of the Evo's features that were kind of groundbreaking and yeah. making it standard on the new Droid. Yeah. Uh, the This Wi-Fi hotspot capability will cost an extra $20 extra a month for two gigabytes of data. Uh, and if you go over, you'll pay five cents per megabyte. So, you know, this is challenging the new iPhone 4. Uh, I'm curious to see it in my hand because I think it's going to be a lot bigger than the Droid. It doesn't have a physical keyboard because it's going to come with Swipe, which we just talked about two days ago with Ron. Uh, and I'm telling you, come on, get a, you don't need the physical keyboard. I'm really, <laughs> really serious about that. Right. I, I think as things progress, we got to let go of the whole physical keyboard thing because it's just one more thing to break on your phone yeah. is having a physical keyboard. Yeah. So. Well, this is an interesting entry into the smartphone space, and I think a lot. There, Verizon is definitely um, giving a lot of incentive to current uh, Droid users to upgrade to this phone. Um, you know, now you've got this Droid X or the Incredible, which is a pretty fantastic phone. So, uh, congrats to all Droid users or anybody in the Verizon network network who wants to uh, upgrade <laughs> July those of 15th. you who are sick of hearing us iPhone users talk about our phones, we've I got know. a new phone coming in July. So. Yeah, we'll probably congrats. look at it as soon as it comes out. But for now, we're going to go back to I. OS 4 yes. and the iPhone. So I upgraded, as did you, right, Graham? Oh, actually, well, actually you have the Gold I still Master. I have the Gold Master on my phone. Okay. So there's a couple of things that I really wanted to just kind of talk about, and we got a lot of uh, upgrader feedback uh, from Twitter. I kind of posed the question, you know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? And we have some questions, some concerns. Um, one of the big thing is obviously running some of the apps in the background while right. and multitasking. And not all of them are optimized for iOS 4. So, uh, but the big thing is Pandora, and we yes. can show that. Well, you'll notice um, the last time we showed iOS 4 off on the show, it was the beta version. Beta version one, actually, was the was the beta that I installed in my phone back in April. Mm. And going back and watching that episode, there are so many things that have changed since then. They've literally had four different beta versions come out in that span of time. And the Gold Master, I must say, is a, just a huge um, improvement mm -hmm. to the whole thing. It's a lot faster, apps are running a lot better. 
uh, multitasking is actually working mm -hmm. in the uh, mm -hmm. uh, Gold Master, and I assume the, the official release is just as good as the Gold Master. So um, we did show off Pandora the other day, but let's just show it again because I yeah. think that's one of the few apps that we can reliably demonstrate right now because it's been updated. It's one of the ones that they showed off when they were like, hey, this is how multitasking is going to work on the iPhone. Right. So they showed off Pandora. I actually can use it now. I never use Pandora because right. on my phone because point, you, know? you have it, and then I really want to go to my email. I have my iPod where I can, you know, just have mm -hmm. the music streaming or, or running, and then doing other tasks. That was the most disappointing thing. Is like I love Pandora, but when you, when you're listening to it on the iPhone, the second you have to go check for check an email or send a text, it closes the app. And yeah. You can't listen to it. Not anymore. So right. you launch the app, start playing your music. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you can hear it, <laughs> and. As soon as you hit the home button, it doesn't go away. That's the most exciting part. Uh, and then I, I know Android users are like, whatever. I know. You know, but We've please, that this is exciting for us. <laughs> um, please. So stop. you can launch Facebook, yeah. catch up on Facebook, read email. I mean, it's absolutely. Uh, just a great way to show off the multitasking features mm -hmm. of iOS 4. But and again, if you, if you want to close it. You double tap on the home button, it launches your apps that you have uh, accessed in the past, or you can go all the way over to the left, and Pandora has replaced the iPod icon on your dock, and you just launch back into Pandora, and you can pause it. That's pretty cool. So. I didn't know that. Now, my one gripe is about the, the multitasking, the double uh, when you hit the home button twice. I know that they're in sleep mode, but um, I don't know if this is contributing to mm. my issues, but I seem to find that my battery is is running down faster when I have multiple apps open, quote really? unquote open. I don't know, I mean, you're saying that they're in sleep mode, they're not actually running and they're just kind of I on think, standby. I think what's confusing to some people that haven't had the iPhone 4 beta throughout this whole process is that all of the apps that they see on the bottom here mm -hmm. are open and running and they're like, oh, that must be why my battery is draining. I don't think that's the case because I think these apps are just frozen in place and mm -hmm. that so if you want to go back to them they remember what you were doing so if you were in the middle of writing a post on your Facebook wall and you relaunch Facebook what you were writing is still there but the app wasn't running in the background. Well let us know if you're having battery issues like I am because I definitely am. I'm noticing that my battery drain is is a little bit Which is um, more. Which weird because I'm noticing that I'm getting better battery life. What? <laughs> I don't know. Well it's because I've had the beta version from all along okay. and beta version one my iPhone wouldn't last 12 hours. Okay. I could charge it all the way, 12 hours later, it would be at 0%. Right. Um, as the betas were released uh, and we got up to four and now the Gold Master, I've been able to use my phone for at least two days, 48 hours, without having to charge it again. So I noticed a significant <laughs> improvement, but uh, apparently some people are having issues, which is unfortunate. Just battery life, really. Um, I like that it's zipper, zippier mm -hmm. and faster. Much faster. Love the folders because working on App Judgment, I'm downloading tons of apps all the <laughs> right. time. It's hard and, to find some. Yeah, um, and now it's uh, easier for me to just have them on my phone and, and put them away. I do forget sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, like I forget to check in on Foursquare because I don't see the icon anymore. Right, because you have to actually go and yeah. find it in the folders. Yeah. Well, um, shall we talk about a couple of uh, the other features? Yeah. More, uh, I guess people that haven't had the, the iPhone 4 or the OS, iOS 4, there might be a few things that you might miss if someone didn't say, hey, check this out. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is the unified inbox okay, for your right. email. You tap it, and now if you have multiple accounts, you can tap on this very top one, and all of your email accounts go into one single inbox that you can check. It's great. The other thing is threaded email mm -hmm. uh, conversations, sort of like if you used a Yahoo or Gmail, all of your emails and especially if you're uh, in a reply all situation yeah. everyone who replies to an email you're attached to it all gets put into a conversation now instead mm -hmm. of flooding your inbox with tons and tons yeah. of emails so that's that is a great feature the other thing I would mention is uh, let's see the camera app is much oh, much improved. absolutely and digital zoom <laughs> you've got a digital zoom now and uh, and that's great although I, I would call it a digital crop <laughs> because you're essentially yeah. cropping a piece of your your, mm -hmm. your camera's sensor and then pulling that out. So I would I would call it in camera cropping instead of digital right. zoom because it, right. it does you do lose a lot of quality, especially if you zoom all the way. The other thing is when you tap to take a picture, 
it is a lot faster. It is a lot on faster. On both versions of uh, the iPhone that iOS 4 supports currently, the 3GS and the 3G, mm -hmm. uh, and soon to be the iPhone 4. The camera app is much, much improved. Yeah. Uh, Game Center, we do have a question from Greg. Game Center announced in the original iPhone iOS 4 keynote. It was never mentioned again, nor did I see it on Apple. You're right, I don't have it. Graham still has it on his Gold Master. I, all of us that did update, that's it's just not out yet. Right, I think it is still only being made available to developers, mm -hmm. and there's a reason, because it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every time I try to open Game Center on my Gold Master version, it stalls at the sign-in, and I can't go any further than that. It worked better even in the beta beta 1 and beta 2 yeah. phase, um, but you still couldn't do anything and none of the apps would support it. So that's going to be something that uh, weeks, as weeks go on, they're going to have games that support Game Center mm -hmm. and they're probably going to make it available for download in the App Store when it finally becomes available or it'll be uh, ushered in as part of an iPhone firmware update. So. Uh, I like the fact that iBooks is now available. This is just me. I do read at the gym. I, I know some people right. like, why some would people you like, do why that? Why would you want to read a book on a tiny little screen? I only like read probably 20 to 30 right. minutes at a time while I'm on the elliptical machine. But I, it's just nice. I'm glad that it's available finally. Right. I mean, it's available on the iPad, should be available on the iPhone. So and that's the syncing there. is pretty cool. The I couldn't get it works. to work because I haven't actually uh, tethered my phone to my computer yet. And mm -hmm. apparently that's part of the process. To yeah, you got to go and um, check on the tab on ah. books and then check either all books or which books you want right. to be sunk, um, sunk to your phone. So nice. I'm very excited. But I think overall, most iPhone users are pretty satisfied. There might be some issues, I guess, with some 3G users uh, upgrading to iOS 4. Unfortunately, uh, multitasking not supported yeah. for the iPhone 3G. And actually, this was a surprise to me. The <clears throat> the background pictures. Oh. You can't have a background picture on That's iPhone a bummer. 3G. That's weird. And actually I saw online somebody emailed Steve Jobs and it's like, I get multitasking, but why can't I have a background picture? Yeah. And Steve replied to this person's email and said, well, when the icons animate after you hop out of an app, mm -hmm. the the background picture was slowing it down too much for the iPhone 3G and that's why they killed the oh, feature for wow. the iPhone 3G. Well, a lot of you replied on Twitter um, and said, hey, uh, love it, love um, the folders, um, you know, amazed by the speed of the camera. Uh, some people are afraid to download it because they're afraid of having, uh, there's been some reports of phones freezing and no I've longer the, working. I've heard iPhone 3G users are having an especially tough time upgrading to the yeah. new iOS Yeah, board. It seems like for most people who have the i um, the 3GS, most people are, are, are loving it and are amazed by the speed. And this is just a preview. For those of you who may be upgrading to iPhone 4, um, you know, or if you're just getting your first iPhone for the first time. So um, probably a few more changes to come uh, in the future, but uh, overall, uh, I, think it's, I think it's a good change. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, well, Graham, thanks so much for joining no us today. And uh, we'll be following more uh, updates on iOS 4. And we're actually going to have a special episode tomorrow where we're going to see Annie try and get her iPhone 4. Actually, all of us yeah. are going to go to the we're store. We're all going to be waiting morning. in lines at different stores all mm -hmm. around San Francisco. It's going to be a gritty app judgment episode where we're you know, all flip camming it yeah. and basically uh, recording our experiences from wee early in the morning However, hours. Because none of us got the phone be. shipped to right. the office. That was the thing is the the pre-order process was compl a complete failure, yeah. um, at least for all of us. Yeah, it <laughs> I mean, really if was. if it didn't work for all of us, then it had to have been a big deal. Yeah, I, mean, it, I had to order through the dangerous. app. I know you did too. I had to order through the app on the phone, and I couldn't order it to be shipped to me. Yeah, exactly. Which, that's why, that uh, explains why I'm a little uh, uh, miffed, because the uh, most people are getting their phones in today that were able to get through the whole yeah, process. exactly. Uh, so I still have to wait another day and wait in line. So. We'll see. Really we'll see how that all happens. You'll see that episode tomorrow, <laughs> Friday. All right, everybody, fun. thanks again for joining us. You can email us your uh, comments and suggestions to appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you. Bye. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed directly to your PC, Macs, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like the Xbox 360, PS3, and the Nintendo Wii. Watch as many movies as you want. Shipping is free, and there are never any late fees or due dates. Keep the movies for as long as you like. DVDs by mail, plus instantly right to your TV. Get unlimited movies two ways for only $8.99 a month. As a new member and as an app judgment, 
Point viewer, you can get a free tryout membership. Go to www.netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL that they know we sent you.